Hello, I just wanted to do a quick little video about why I'm so enthusiastic about the building block that I put on my website. Um, just to kind of get people oriented. You can make this block yourself. There's nothing really special to it. I've just used it for a lot of things. So here is um, a building section of a house that I've drawn for a client. Um, this is the uh, latitudinal, let's see, this is a longitudinal section over here. This is a latitudinal section and this is a wall section. This I think is very close to the wall section, if not in fact the wall section that I have on my wall on my website for sale for a four bucks or something like that. Maybe I'll knock that down some more. It was eight when I first started because I had like eight blocks on it. But um, here's what you can do with that building block um, is is you can build like here's I'll just demonstrate this this right here that's part of that building block system. Um, probably what I'll do today is. I'll change the upload file to have this this basement this concrete section block because I use that section block it's a dynamic block you can see that it stretches in two directions which is really I think this is the basicness of AutoCAD but it also has a hatch in it and that hatch pattern is uh, heals with with whatever kind of uh, shape you make that rectangle and you know these houses are assembled as rectangles here's a window block um, that's a nice one that one stretches anyway and then here's a this is a wall piece, wall piece right here so you can see that for the basement perimeter wall and uh, you see the face of that framing right there is uh, four inches from the face of the concrete this is an eight inch thick concrete wall and you know when you use your quick properties dialog box you can set those hey this is eight inches or eight feet high. That's an eight foot concrete pour in that basement with a one foot six, sorry, eight inch, sorry, eight inch and then one foot six because that's just the header height above this window buck. Blah, blah, blah. Um, that building block though, I used it here. I used it for um, the drywall. I used it for the drywall ceiling. I used it for the drywall. Um, I used it to actually build and assemble this, this partition over here you can see um, the floating wall with a spike the 60 penny nail that's a block that's dynamic that goes up to the windowsill um, you know so that's why I'm enthusiastic about it because this saved my productivity now my cursor is moving really slow because of the screen capture software I'm using right now but um, I just want to put this little video up to show you hey you know this is how I have been able to draw a section of a house and here you can see this goes into the great room and a profile of the fireplace from the side, hallway down. Um, another thing I made with those blocks, this right here. These are these are roof trusses. Now this is really cool because these roof trusses are dynamic. I pop them in, ta da! You know, and it's like, hey, what size is that? I don't know. I'll select the one next to it. Oh, it's uh, six foot eleven. Control copy. Uh, you want to make this one that size too? Yeah. Look over here. Control paste. Oh, guess what? That one's the same length too. Ta-da! Here, this thing right here. This is a block I'm gonna I haven't put up yet, but um, this one does your roof pitches for you um, on the half increment. I mean, honestly, every single house I've done has either either been four or six. Uh, there was one eight twelve pitch, um, and there was one eight twelve pitch, but that's nice. Um, this one is the what's this one called? Pitch right, and then there's one for pitch left. And then I have ones for Vault too, and maybe that's something. If I have time today, I'll put that up on the website as well. Um, let me just get you an idea of what it looks like real quick. Sections library, pitch. It should be just called pitches. And let's see. Oh man, where is it at? Maybe it's on elevations. Because usually I do elevations and then I come back and, you know, the nice thing to do is build your, your sections first and then build your house off of that. Um, roof pitches. Um, let's say, okay, it's going to redefine it, but if I stick it right here, where'd it go? It's way out here in space. I'll have to reset that. But what you do is you just um, bring this in, then explode it. And then uh, move this to level, probably an annotation level. 
Let's see what annotation level I have here. Here's one annotation. Okay, and then you just move these out to where you want to be. Uh, let's say you want that to be a 612 pitch. You just move it to half its size. That's a 612 pitch. You want that to six, uh, see a 612 volt. Whoa. Bring that down. That's a 712. That's a 712 volt. It's probably going to be a 412 if you got a 612 pitch. Um, there. You get a 412 volt. You know, and you might want to mess with you know the, the insertion points of these things, but really that would go in if I had a vaulted ceiling this would go in um, under the vaulted. Do I have a vaulted ceiling in here somewhere? I've got to have a vaulted ceiling in this house. I thought I did. But anyway, let's just say for argument's sake that this is a vaulted ceiling. You would stick this in here as a vaulted ceiling underneath the pitch and then you could demonstrate, hey, you know, here's what's going on. And it's easy and it's fast and you don't have to like place all your text and everything. It just does it so much faster for you. And then over here is just some basic uh, pitches. This, these are the bit different pitches that I used to, to make it. Um, and there you are. It's the Right now the uh, the insertion point is off in space somewhere. I have to go back and correct that. In fact, you know what? I'll correct it right now while I'm on video so when you see it um, it'll be corrected and I'll have it up today. So I'll do these two. I'm gonna do one for um, <clears throat> one for kitchen cabinets today and then one for uh, roof pitch and uh, ceiling vaults. Um, indicators, annotation. And then you will be happy, I hope. Have a great day.